I'm going to be doing a review on this. This is the uh, custom TI Promity. Um, as the name suggests, it's a custom version of the regular TI Promity made by Bashik from Art of the Exhale. Um, it costs, uh, with conversion, around £95 delivered. Uh, except I've been lent this for purpose of review by uh, MW of the Vape Pit Forum. Um, it's a dual purpose atomizer, rebuildable atomizer. You can uh, either use it the same as your spheroid, you know, with this serra wool in the top, or you can just your wick take the serra wool out and use it as a dripper. So that's it there, and let's have a close up look. Right, so this is the uh, custom TI Promity up close. Um, the first major difference you can notice is it hasn't got the, um, the engravings on the tank tube there which to be honest I think is a big improvement because you know, I saw the original I wasn't, wasn't a big fan to be honest it seemed a bit in your face all the, uh, all the um, logo and the writing all that kind of thing um, the other difference is uh, the top cap is completely um, straight rather than um, you know, kind of going into more of a point and your bottom cap is flush with the tank and the top cap because uh, on the original the, uh, the bottom cap did step in a couple of mil and to be honest it looked a bit janky to me you know, especially if you just screw it on to mod the same size this is a this is a 22 mil at a so, you know if you got like your caravella or something you know used to screw the original one on you would have that step in where it screws in so you know I do think it looks a lot better um, being like that now this, the way it works, is pretty much like a big spheroid except with one difference um, as well as like your tank mode, you know, using your serra wall you can use this in dripping mode as well if you just, um, just unscrew the top cap you can see there's your, uh, there's your tube which you wrap your serra wall around there and uh, you know, just place that in there for when you're using it in tank mode if we just unscrew the bottom cap you can see the terminals are raised a lot more and um, that little pipe there for the air hole is raised a fair bit and obviously that's so you can use it in your dripping mode as I say you just um, you took the wick down onto there instead of having it pointing up and obviously you don't use your serra wall um, as you can see I've already got this uh, coiled and ready to go I'm using a hybrid wick in this because um, I find just using a pure a pure um, silica wick for me it tends to give me like a dry throat you know like a bit of an itch in the back of the throat um, I have tried this as well with a mesh wick kind of like a reverse U wick um, if you use a 200 mesh cut diagonally you know, it does give you a nice floppy wick so you can bend it up and all that kind of thing you know, fit it all in place um, it worked well except what I found is the end of the wick when you'd screw this into there you know the action of screwing it in it would kind of catch on the serra wall and kind of or move it out of place a little bit you know it's, it's still perfectly vapable it just ended up looking a bit messy in there so um, I've kind of given up on that idea and I've just gone for a hybrid wick which for me I find you know, it kind of reduces the effect, the uh, not the drying effect with the silica that I uh, normally get. Um, <clears throat> now, as the name suggests, uh, the TI Promity is made completely from titanium, so it weighs it weighs next to nothing. You know, it's really light. But um, one thing I will say, I've seen other titanium at all, um, atomizers and uh, they're really thin, you know, kind of like eggshell thin now this, you know, for a titanium at a, you know, it is quite thick by, you know, other standards if you like um, so it would have been nice to see that a bit thinner um, you know, take advantage of the extra strength from the titanium by losing a bit of the thickness but, um, you know, other than that, you know, it screws together nicely a nice and smooth thread threads on it. No binding or anything like that. And it is um it is a really nice light at uh atty. 
um, obviously if you use it with the Serra wall like in the tank mode you're not going to be getting any leaking like you would from your Jennies or anything like that um, you do have to be careful with the, uh, the dripping mode um, when you're dripping in there you can obviously drip straight down the hole but because you've got that air hole directly below the coil on the wick it is going to drip straight down if you get any excess build up um, you know there's always a chance it could drip down that hole and uh, just come out of there that's kind of where that air hole leads to so you know you could end up with juice spilling out of there if you used to fill it directly from the top but um, what I tend to do, it doesn't take long to do, just whip the top off, um, you know, drip straight in there. You can get a decent amount of liquid in there, probably close to like a meal, maybe slightly more. So uh, you don't have to fill it up too often if it's kept upright, which you kind of get into the habit of keeping your atties upright, you know, especially for me being a Genesis uh, atomizer user. So that's not an issue. So um, I'll just screw this all back together. I'm going to be showing it you in action in dripping mode because, to be honest, in um, in tank mode it vapes identically to the uh, spheroid. To me, anyway, when I had my spheroid, it, you know, it's exactly the same kind of vape. So um, that's it there, and uh, we'll get it screwed onto a mod and go and see how it vapes. Right, so that's a custom TI Promity up close. Uh, I've got it screwed onto uh, the Dupetto DNA 20 mod. It's a 1.2 ohm coil and I'm running at 11 watts. Uh, the juice in there, um, MW very kindly sent me some uh, pomegranate flavour juice, so I'm not exactly sure on uh, the VGPG ratio. What I do know is it's a very acquired taste. As you can see, you know it's really kicking out the vapor there. Uh, the flavor on it's quite good as well, or at least it would be if it was different juice. Um, because it's that larger uh, chamber on there compared to like your Hellfire Drippers or your Sati S, you know you don't get quite the same throat hit, or the same heat off it. You know even if you crank the uh, the wattage up. The, um, the drawer on it's quite nice, you know, it's uh, it's not too loose, it doesn't feel quite as tight as the uh, Hellfire Dripper. And I haven't measured the hole, but you know, whether that's to do with the larger chamber in there, I'm not quite sure. Um, in spheroid mode, if you like to call it that, it works well. Um, you know, it wicks, wicks good with the, uh, with the Serra wool in there. Um, dripper mode is great, you know, to be honest I don't get that much difference in taste between the two. Obviously with the dripper mode, you know, it's easy to switch your flavours out. Um, yeah, that's it. Not much more really to say about it than that, you know, it works well as a dual purpose atomizer. Um, no chance of stealth vaping it really, the amount of vapour it kicks out, it, it does seem to kick it out. Um, I think maybe if they could make the chamber, you know, maybe at the bottom end slightly smaller somehow, that might increase the throat hit for when you're using it in a dripper mode. But um, yeah, it's a decent bit of kit, you know, if you want to use it in those uh, two modes, either speed mode or dripper mode, you know, it does work really well. Holds a good amount of juice in there in dripping mode, um, you know, like I say, sort of like a mill there or thereabouts. So uh, yeah, that's it there. Thanks for watching.